What I'm going to show today is the automated transcription workflow uh, that we've put into place with our vendor 3Play Media. So you may be familiar with ELI Media, at least in terms of me talking about it before. It's uh, an asset management system built in Drupal. And so we can go and pull up videos and catalog them, you know, store copyright uh, details so that we're in legal compliance and all that great stuff. Um, what I'm going to show today has been possible before. So, you know, we can click play on a video and we have closed Ooh. captioning support, right? And so that's in there. And, you know, the great thing about ELI Media is you have an embed code, you put it in one place, it kind of detects where it's used, so it'll tell you and it'll convert this into object code, so you don't need to remember all of this stuff anymore. That's one of the main advantages to our solution. So what do we do with automation? Um, previously, what would happen is when we wanted to transcribe something, we would take our video and we would uh, go through the form on 3Play Media's website and upload that. And then, you know, go and wait a few days, get the caption file back and the transcript file and upload them into these fields. So we've been able to automate this and you'll see we have, you know, kind of this workflow state here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove both of these files to prove that this works. And we'll set this back to needs transcription so we can follow it through the process. And so we're going to go to the transcript workflow. And you'll see it's just a view, you know, with bulk operations. Let's look for things that need transcription. And so we can filter down to that. Uh, we can then say, I just want videos that need transcription. And so there we go. There we go. So we're able to see hey, there's a video. Um, you can then use the bulk operations to change the state. And so you can change it to um, you know, none in case this was placed here in error, needs transcription, or you can do submit to 3Play Media for transcription. Now, we've already had this video transcribed, and so I'm not going to send it again. That would you know, cost us money. So what ends up happening over here, and you know, this has a just goofy file name because we were testing before, is it'll send them a link to the file so they know where to go to transcribe it. And then under metadata, it also sends this 49. Now, this is important because this is the node ID in our system. And so we can take that 49, and that 49 relates directly to this one. You can see in the bottom there. So node 49. And so that's what we're basically verifying on. So once this moves into Submit to 3Play, that gets sent to them. Uh, stepping through the workflow here, just so I don't trigger something that would you know, have financial ramifications. Um, it would then be submitted to the 3Play, the job, you know, cron job runs, and it actually sends it. At that point, it's marked sent to 3Play. Uh, once something is sent or in processing, every time cron runs, it's going to check and ask 3Play, hey, is this file done? Is this file done? And you'll see in 3Play that they have, you know, complete, and we have this other state of in progress, and they have pending and error as well. Uh, so basically, we keep checking it, and if it says in progress, then we're able to update our system to showcase that fact. So sent gets transitioned to processing automatically so that you know that information is the same as in 3Play. So let's move this to processing because then it'll get picked up by the job. <clears throat> and so once something comes back as complete, and you know, we'll run the cron here. So we'll run the cron in the background. And cron will take a second here. Okay, completed. Now when I go into this, the media, we'll see that caption file and transcript file are now populated and the transcript status has been marked as received. So because it saw that those files were in place, it downloaded them and associated them automatically here. Um, so we didn't have to have a person really involved. It was a you know, pretty laborious process previously um, of getting the files over and you have to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Um, the neat thing, or one of them, with this is, okay, so this embed code doesn't change now. So you could actually post videos, have them running on your site or in your course, um, and then, you know, a few days later, when the transcription has gone through, now your videos in those same places load with closed captioning support, and you didn't have to change anything to do that. 